Hey guys, all right, so today is going to be a video on self-tanners and just tanning in general. And I know that this might seem like a very awkward time just because it's like not spring yet. It's kind of just like in between. It's kind of in between like winter and spring. Um, but I think that people like to be tan all year round and this time last year I was crazy about tanning like I had like an obsession like it was like my strange addiction shit I swear to god. I was obsessed with tanning. I went like every day. I went to like the What are they called? The ones where you like close it in on yourself Tanning beds or like UV beds sun beds, whatever um, I went to those a lot, but then I stopped because it's so bad for you and it's like irreversible damage on your skin or whatever. Um, so I stopped. But it used to be really bad. I used to literally go every day. Um, and then I got really big into like self tanners and stuff. And then I just really, really didn't care. So I decided that I would rock the white look. And I've been rocking it for so long, but I think I'm back. And I think I'm loving it. So I picked out a few products from my own personal collection and I'm gonna share them with you. And feel free to leave me a video response or a comment telling me one of your favorite self tanners because I am in the mood to try different ones. Okay, so the first product is a self tanner and it is in the lotion form. It is Clarins Delicious Self Tanning Cream with unsaponifiables of cocoa. I don't know how to say that word. This is what it looks like. Okay, what is that word, literally? Unsapon ifiables. Hmm. I love those, then. But this is what it looks like. The box is, like, a good color. It always scares me because, like, when I see, like, for example, Lancome, their tanning collection, it's, like, orange. Like, the bottles are, like, orange. Like, it's like, hmm, I really want to try that because I want to turn the color of the bottle. So this is what it looks like when you open it. I've used this, this is my second jar of this, I used to be obsessed with this like a couple years ago. Not a couple years ago, last year. And I'm gonna say that this Clarins is a must try because it's so good, it's not that cheap, I think it's 35 or 40 dollars. Um, but it's amazing, like everyone loves this one and I think it's really really great. Um, it comes with this like thing that looks like this. It's just like a plastic scoop and it's so because like as you guys probably know when you do self tanner you can't like you have to either like wash your hands after or like use gloves or something just because like it'll do really disgusting things to your hands. It'll like make them look like you have like a skin disease or something like on your hands. This has a scoop just so it won't like get like in your hand. So the jar looks like this. And the one thing that makes this lotion different from every other lotion is that it's colored. Like, it looks darker. So when you're putting it on yourself, you can see where you've applied it. Like, you can see your arm is kind of tanned, but then, like, you go to sleep and you wake up and you're, like, super tanned. Like, it takes the night to process, like, on your skin and you wake up, like, more tanned. But it's really great because you can see it going on your skin and it's like, okay, I know I've applied it there. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, this one's really great. Oh, and the smell is, like... You know how some self-tanners have, like, what if you guys are watching this video and you're like, I've never tried a self-tanner, so I'm, like, making all these references, and you're like, I don't know that. But anyways, anyone who's used a self-tanner before, um, it, it gets, like, the smell is, like, disgusting. Like, I hate the smell of self-tanner, like, cheap ones, like, L'Oreal, and, like, what else, like, Jergens and shit, I hate the smell of those. It doesn't smell, like, nice. But it doesn't smell like self-tanner. It kind of just smells like a beauty product that's like, has its own scent. But like, it's not amazing, not, yet not bad. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely my top pick for self-tanners. 100%, you guys should definitely go out and try this. And if you don't, you're an idiot because you're wasting your money. Oh, and I also wanted to talk about one more um, spray tan that I bought at Sephora. It came in like a tall white container and... It, I think it had like cow spots on it. That sounds really, really bad. But it was like a white metal bottle, not really big, and it had cow spots on it. And I think it was called Mystic something, Mystic Tan, Mystic Spray, something like that. Um, I really liked that one, and I probably should have bought that before I did this video. But I'll show you a picture um, right here if I can find it. That one is really, really good. Um, I absolutely loved that one. I've done it probably two or three times. Uh, but the, the Clarins is so much better. It's just so much neater. And when you spray, you either have to do it, like, in the shower or, like, you have to be ready to, like, clean up after or have, like, a maid handy to, like, clean up after you because it just gets everywhere. Like, it's impossible to, like, 
do your arm without like missing and like misting like the wall you know what I'm saying so it sucks alright so the next product that I'm going to show is a bronzer and it's by Benefit it's called Hula and I'm sure you guys have heard of it it is a gorgeous bronzer it looks like this I really don't like the packaging of a lot of Benefit stuff it just seems so like not unprofessional but just not like professional like you know like how like Mac is just so clean and nice but like Benefit has like graphics on it and shit and it's just like eh. but a lot of the products are good so this is the color it's absolutely beautiful a lot of the time what I'll tell people when I'm doing their makeup is if they don't want to commit to a full self tanner um, all over their body or whatever they just want a sun kissed face on their look what they just want a sun kissed look on their face they should just go out and buy this bronzer because after you're done your foundation your powder your blush everything else you just use it in like strategic places in your face and it just gives you like sun kiss like beautiful like the color that this gives you is beautiful and I find that unlike other bronzers this bronzer throughout time like if you give it like an hour to like settle on your skin or whatever it'll look so much better like it like goes into your face it's so weird because I was like I was using this bronzer for a long time the Sephora Sun Disc and you guys know I absolutely love this bronzer like obsessed with it and it looks like this inside it just like this bronzer has been like my BFFL forever um, I absolutely love it but this is my new love for bronzer it's like my favorite thing ever. You guys should definitely go out and try this if you haven't already. All right, so last but not least, the brush I apply my bronzer with. Um, the two bronzers I showed, I use the same brush. It's no big deal. After I'm done my foundation routine and everything, I use bronzer and I use it with this brush. This is the best brush ever. You can use it on your face, you can use it on your body, you can use it on your arms, you can use it anywhere. It's really really good because if you're wearing like a really really low cut top and you want to bring like the sun kiss look down your chest, um, you want like a big brush to like buff it all in, you know what I mean? So it's like really quick. Because a lot of the time when I'm wearing bronzer, which I do almost every day, um, if I'm wearing a really really low cut top, I'll just bring it down a little and it's really really nice to have a huge brush that I can do that with. Yeah, and this is the Sigma Body Brush, um, and then on one side it says Extra Veganza. I don't even know. I can't even read today. It's just like a beautiful brush, and it's for face and body, so it's like, might as well just do your bronzer with it, you know what I'm saying? So, this is my favorite brush. So that brush is my favorite, but this is also a really great one that I used for so long. It is the Urban Decay Big Buddha Brush. I was going to say body brush, but it's just a Big Buddha brush. Um, it looks like this. And it matches my shirt, that's kind of why I wanted to include it in the video. But it's same same thing, this one's a little bit like flimsier so it's kind of nicer to like do all over your body but um same shit all right so those are my all-time favorite products for tanning in general if you guys could let me know your favorite tanning products that would be amazing and let me know how you, how these products work for you guys but i gotta run so until i see you guys next time stay gorgeous